G'day everybody and welcome to week 20 of CZ Selections, brought to you by Sinclair Wilson. Are you getting everything you deserve? At Sinclair Wilson, we can answer all of your financial questions, optimize your tax position, and develop long-term strategies which will be very much to your advantage. Sinclair Wilson, for strength in numbers. We'll launch straight into it this week and start things off in the AFL. We have Sydney versus Collingwood at the SCG on Friday night. This is season on the line stuff for Collingwood. If they want to keep their final hopes alive, they really need to get a win here. Sydney has been unconvincing of late. Obviously, they lost to Geelong last week and they'll be without Buddy Franklin again for this contest, while the Pies are expected to regain Travis Cloak. So I'm very tempted to pick Collingwood in this one, but I'm still unconvinced on them. It wasn't a great win against Carlton last week, so I'm tipping the Swans at home, but who knows which way it's actually going to go. And then on Saturday, to start things off, we have Essendon versus Adelaide Crows at Etihad Stadium. No, they got the wrong ground there. Um, Essendon is completely out of sorts at the moment and Adelaide has a really good chance of sneaking back into the top eight so I'm tipping them to do just that with the percentage boosting win against the Dons. And then we have North Melbourne versus St Kilda at Blundstone Arena in Tasmania. The Kangaroos will be looking to consolidate their spot in the top eight. They currently have the longest winning streak in the AFL with five games I think it is at this stage. I'm tipping them to make it six with the win over the Saints. And then we have Port Adelaide versus Greater Western Sydney at Adelaide Oval. Of course, we all know Port's really struggling this year. Greater Western Sydney has been a hard team to get a read on. Their best is really good. When they're not at their best, they're really not too great at all. So it depends which giant side turns up for this contest. I'm going to go with Port at home, but I'm completely unconvinced in this one. And then it's a big one, Geelong versus Hawthorne at the MCG. It will be the revival of the modern day rivalry between the Cats and the Hawks which is so enthralling. It wasn't so great the last time these two sides met in round one. Hawthorne gave the Cats a bit of a hiding but I expect a very different outcome this time. The Cats have been working to some pretty good form lately and I may be getting a little bit carried away but I'm tipping them to win. Although I'd advise you if you are still taking this tipping seriously, unlike myself, probably should go for the Hawks. And then we have Brisbane versus Carlton at the Gabba. Who to pick for this one? It's a really tough one because neither side is going too crash hot at the moment. I'm tipping Brisbane as a home side because I keep getting told, unless you have a compelling reason otherwise, always go the home team. And then on Sunday we have Richmond versus Gold Coast at the MCG. Richmond, 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 what are you doing? It's safe to say some things never change, but I expect the Tigers to bounce back with a big win over the Suns in this game. And then we have Western Bulldogs versus Melbourne at Etihad Stadium. It's really good for football to see the doggies in the top four. I'm tipping them to stay there with a good win over the D's. And finally, Fremantle versus West Coast at Subiaco. It's the other big one this weekend. It'll be a great contest between the two sides. Fremantle had a really good start last time they met and set up a pretty comfortable win. West Coast has come a long way since then, but they've had a few personnel issues and they'll be without Nick Natnui this weekend, as well as Mark Lacroix. So I'm tipping Fremantle to get the win. And across to the Hampton League to start things off, it's Coroit versus Portland at Victoria Park. The Saints are still sitting in second spot on the ladder, just 7% behind Warrnambool. And they're within striking distance of that coveted top spot, so I'm tipping them to go for a big percentage boosting win against the Tigers this weekend. And then it's South Warrnambool versus Cobden at Friendly Societies Park. The poor battered and bruised Bombers will be looking for a better outing than what they've had the last few weeks. They've had a pretty tough run in the draw. It'll be another tough contest for them on the weekend, but hopefully they get to show a bit more of their skill and talent in this one. I'm going to go with the Roosters to get the win, but hopefully an improved effort from the Bombers. And then we have North Warrnambool Eagles versus Hamilton Kangaroos at Bushfield Oval. The Kangaroos gave the Bloods a bit of a scare last week and within two points of toppling to Rangmore Lake, so they hit this game with some pretty good form behind them. But the Eagles will be looking to build some momentum as they gear up for finals. After losing three games in a row, they've won their last two pretty comfortably and will be looking for more of the same against the Kangaroos. And then we have Terrain Mortlake versus Camperdown at Mortlake's DC Farron Oval. Speaking of momentum, the Bloods seriously need to start building some. They've won four games in a row, but their form hasn't been too crash hot. They're looking to start lifting a gear leading into finals and I think that's going to start this week against Camperdown. Hopefully we see a good contest between the two but I'm tipping the Bloods to win probably by about five six goals maybe and of course it will mark the 40 year reunion of Mortlake's 1975 senior premiership flag. And 
Finally, we have Warnable versus Port Ferry at Reed Oval. It'll be a cracking contest between two of the form sides in the competition. Port Ferry is doing very nicely at the moment, but Warnable, as always, is relentless, so I'm tipping the Blues to get the win. That's it for this week, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. Have a wonderful weekend, and as always, happy tipping.